video I did the pinstripes and the decals I sprayed four coats of clear over these after I had sanded it back down we're gonna be flow coating but first we gotta sand the whole car down we got some imperfections we gotta take care of also it's a drip here as you can remember when I sprayed the car also we got two runs in it and plus the grit from the uh, flake the texture from the flake because when you spray flakes it'll leave texture so we're going to be taking care of that let me show you what I got we're going to start with all right what we got here is some sandpaper different grits a lot of folks be wondering where this flow coat why you need the flow coat you actually just look at it this way when you spray and paint each coat you put on it it's gonna have orange peel so every coat you put on top of that it's gonna be more and more orange peel so by the time you spray candy you're gonna have a whole lot of orange peel after your last coat of clear so flow coating is we're gonna sand everything back down smooth then you're gonna start off with a surface like this here starting off fresh so even though you're gonna get orange peel after you spray your clear but it's not gonna be as much as after all those coats and a lot of folks sand it down with 600 and flow coat it. You reduce your clear after you sand it down with 600. But I'm not going to use 600 because clear will actually cover up 320 scratches. But I'm going to use 400. And I'm going to be using this 400 with a flex block. I might use this rigid block on some surface, but I'm mainly going to use this flex block. I got me some soap and water and a rag, like always. My sandpaper has been soaking. So we're going to put it on that block and get started. First, we're going to tackle the drip and the runs. I'm not going to sand it all the way down flat. I just want to hit it just so you'll be able to see it better because you can see it better once I knock the shine off the clear and once it dry you'll be able to see it we're gonna let it dry then I'll cut you back on I'm gonna hit these runs the same way though Now since it's dry, you can see the drip a lot better. So we finna knock all this down flat, like this area here. Let me show you the two runs. That's one of them. And here's the other. We're just gonna keep on going until we get it down flat. I got a, I got enough clear in here, so I'm not worried about me cutting through. I forgot to mention, it's best to use a rigid block, something hard, when you're trying to knock down imperfections like runs or drips. 
because this flex block it's just gonna go over the contour and you might think it's down but once you put some more clear on it you'll be able to see it again so it's best to use something hard let's check those three areas out that's what it need to look like here's the two runs well where the two runs was now let's concentrate on the orange peel and the texture from the flake I'm just lightly going over it just to give you an idea what the orange peel look like because you can't really tell just by looking at it through the camera right there with the gloss on it here's the orange peel you can see it a lot better since I shaved some of the top off of it. Just gotta knock it down just like we did this here. Same process. Now let's jump over here and do this decal. We're gonna knock it down flat as we can. Let me set you up. On this decal, it's gonna be the same process as we did them other two spots. I got four coats of clear on it, so hopefully I can bury the decals once I spray three more coats of clear on top of this once I knock it down. You can keep going until you start seeing the color. The decal orange, so once I start seeing orange, that means I done got down to the decal, which I still can go some more, but you don't want to go too far and knock all the decal off of it. Just keep going until you see color. Same way with the stripes. Now I'm starting to see color. That means I done got down to the decal, all the clear off the top of the decal. See the color there? Like I said, I still can go down some more. We're going to let it dry, then I'll cut you back on. Now we can see what we done done. All the shiny areas, those low areas. And if I keep doing it with the block, the rigid block, it's gonna knock down my decal and cut through it. So before I start spraying the clear, if I still have any shiny spots, I'm gonna have to do it by hand. Just so the clear has something to bond to, like up in here. But I still can bring some of it down some more. I guess I do half of this hood, then I cut you back on. show you what I got. I done did this side here. As you can see. I got everything except that lip. This lip here. I'm going to do that with just my fingers. Because I don't want to square it off with that block. But other than that, it's good to go. I guess I'm going to make my way around the whole car. And I'll cut you back on.
pretty much got everything sanded. Now I'm just getting around the edges. Do the nose areas off. So the clear baby has some to burn too. And I'm gonna remash some spots like here. I didn't want to clear the bridge, the mask and tape, so I took the old tape off. I'm gonna put some more around that there. But that's pretty much it. Once I finish these edges, I'm just gonna get a damp rag and try to clean up the rest of the paste. Then I'll be ready to move on. Ready for the wax and grease removal wipe down. I'm gonna walk around the car, show you what it's looking like. Which I wiped it down with just a damp rag and got the paste up. Now the wax and grease remover is gonna remove all the fingerprints that I laid when I was doing the wet sand laid on it. You want to make sure you do that because if you don't, when you start shooting that clear, you don't get fish ass if you don't get that. Uh, wax and grease up. And I'll be using this prep all. Wipe it on, wipe it off. Yeah, three coats. Whatever I had left in the gun, I'll put it on the hood or the right, right, wherever the sun gonna hit. Cause I put four coats on it when I. Uh, sprayed it. Mm. Four coats on the hood and on the deck lid because it was more in the gun. Right. That's where you want the protection at for real. That's where it started fading at the sun. Yeah, on every car. <laughs> the hood, roof, and the trunk. Yeah. But as long as you don't have it outside, though, it's an ass feel. Mm-hmm. I know you ain't gonna keep your cars outside, either.
Stop